Good morning, students. Welcome. Have a good day. Today we are going to discuss about the ledger, which is the next level after journal entry. In the definition of accounting, we were come across with the summarizing and concept of word called as summarizing. So here we summarize the accounts. The step of first step is transactions were converted into journal entries. Problem number 13 to 25, we converted all the transactions into journal entries by using accounting language. That language, in that language, there are some basics, basic rules are there. By using those basic rules, we converted the text into journal entries, transactions into journal entries. In that, we remember there are three types of accounts, personal, real, nominal, and each account is having its own rules. Personal account rules are debit the receiver, credit the giver. Real account rules are debit what comes in, credit what goes out. Nominal account rules are expenses and losses to be debited, incomes and gains to be credited. Now we are moving one step ahead, that is ledger. So all the cash related transactions were posted into a account called as a cash account. All bank related transactions are posted into a account called as a bank account, like furniture account, like sham account, like Ramana account. Each ledger account which we open in general entry, we will open that separate account. All the related transactions were posted in that account with debits and credits. This ledger is having opening balance and also closing balance. Simple to understand. Suppose cash account we are opening, all the receipts we post debit side with opening balance and we total the cash account and we deduct all transactions which were posted in credit side balance is ending balance or closing balance. Simple to understand, a account to type with debits and credits in separate columns, debit column is separate, credit column is separate, with opening balance and as well as closing balance. Now we are practicing this preparation of ledger account with the help of problem number 28. In the same manner, earlier how we did journal entries, in this problem also, we prepare journal entries. Based on the journal entries, we develop a account to type called as a Raman account. We prepare Raman account. In addition to that, we prepare cash ledger account also. Before going to ledger account, you know, we have to remember in that particular account, we cannot write the name of the account. In top, you put cash. You cannot write cash in body. Okay. In the top, if you put Raman, you cannot write either debit or credit Raman. So the same name cannot be written in that. That will be the transactions of Raman will be posted with the opposite account. Opposite account. How we, how we were posting also, I will explain. First, we will pass journal entries. Two months transactions were given to us. Just we will pass journal entries. Journal entries format is as usual. Okay. Ledger format will be debit. Right. Problem number 28 sold goods to Raman. Goods are going out, credited, 
Raman is uh, receiver. Amount is five four two zero. Narration will be goods sold to Raman. On credit also we can write. Okay. Right. Next entry is next entry is received from Raman cash and allowed him discount two seven two zero. What we received cash we received. So cash account data. Discount received account data or discount. Uh, from whom we received Raman account. Raman is giver. Raman is giver. So giver is credited according to the rules of personal account. According to the rules of personal account. Okay, right. So how much we received? Five one five zero discount is one seventy and five four two zero. Okay. Cash received from Raman after discount. Raman bought goods. Who bought goods? Raman bought goods. Who sold goods? Okay, na? Somebody sold goods. That's why Raman bought goods. Received cash from Raman on account. So Raman purchased goods. We sold goods to Raman. Same entry. Raman account data. Sales account amount is six thousand goods sold to Raman. Both are same. Raman bought goods are goods sold to Raman. Next entry. Next entry is cash received from twenty eight received cash from Raman on account. He received cash, cash account data. To Raman account. It is 2000. Okay, cash received. Right. 
So September transactions are over. So we will post this transaction in uh, Raman account. And we will find balance. Okay. So Raman due is 5420. Raman, we received due amount with discount one second. Raman sales are 6,000 and we received 2,000. Raman account balance is 4,000. Please check that October 1st. It was given. Balance on October 1st is 4,000. When we prepare Raman account, we will find this balance. Closing balance of Raman account on 30th September is 4,000. Opening balance of Raman account is uh, on October 1st is 4,000. Again, sold goods to Raman 10,000. Raman account return. Only two transactions were given for us to understand the Raman ledger account. Amount is 10,000. <laughs> Entry goods sold to Raman. Right. Again, some cash is received from Raman. Elementary. Cash account data. Discount account data to Raman account. Raman account. Cash amount is 3960. Discount is 40 rupees. And Raman is 4000. Raman is 4000. Cash received from Raman. Next, received cash in full settlement of Raman account 9800. So, same entry. Amount we will write later. We will find Raman account and later we will find the balance. From the balance, he, we received only 9,800. You see the old tradition ledger in the book. This is ledger book. A date, items, polio number, debit amount. Date, items, that's we are writing, okay? Polio number, credit amount. This page is extracted from the old tradition of people. Learn. Presently, all all uh, computer era, all are using softwares, accounting softwares, and they are preparing online online journal preparation. No need of uh, okay, right? So ledger is a a type summary of a type of account account to type. So one account here we have to prepare is Raman account and that ledger is with the opening balance, debits and credits with the opening balance as well as closing balance. So in the September 1st there is no opening balance, no amount and in the, all the transactions which are related passed in that general entries we post into this account. Okay, so either debit side or credit side, we cannot write to Raman. In Raman account, we cannot write to Raman. In Raman account, the amount related to Raman should be posted with the opposite account name. I am repeating once again. In the Raman account, this is the example. In the Raman account, we cannot write Raman. In the Raman account, the amount related to Raman, we post with the opposite name account. Opposite name account. Very simple to understand. First entry is Raman account data to sales account. Raman account data 
in Raman account debit side to sales. To sales. You check with journal entry which you note down in your notebook. Amount is 5420. Okay. Next entry is cash received from Raman. Entry is cash account data. Discount account data to Raman account. To we are writing for showing credit. So Raman account is showing credit. We have to post total amount 5420. The 5420 is, one is cash. By cash. By 5150. And by discount. By discount. Amount is 270. Okay. Right. Third entry is goods sold to Raman 6000. In Raman account, Raman account data to sales account. You keep the general entries with you while I am posting this. Is 6000. Right to date, this is September 015. September 1st. So, in these three transactions, I never posted Raman name in body of a ledger account. The rule is, in Raman account, we cannot write Raman name. We have to record opposite name. First general entry, Raman account data to sales account. I am preparing the ledger account of Raman. I have to use the opposite name that is sales be posted in debit side to be posted in debit side okay right next uh, entry from account data to sales account is over cash received from raman raman is showing credit please look at your journal entry cash account account we had right amount is 2000 2000 we have to close this account. Okay. We will close this account for the September month. 11420. And five balance carried down. It is 4000. Oh, I got this 4000 is. the amount is total is 11,420 total amount is 11,420 and from that 11,420 I deducted 6,420 7,420 Balance amount is 4,000. So balance amount is 4,000. Total amount is 11,420. Right. You close this. This is a 30 September. Okay, now 1st October, opening balance is 1st October.
October 1st. We already told balance from last month is 4000. We got two balance brought down. Amount is 4000. Okay. Now we are moving to the next transaction. Next date is in the month of October. It is October 13 sold goods to Ram. Same from an account debit side. We have to use the opposite name that is two sales. The amount is 10,000. Okay, and October 30, thirty October 20, 20 October, October as received from the man, Raman is showing credit. We have to use by cash amount is three nine six zero and by discount part. by discount account. Okay, right. next he is telling that on 31st received cash in full settlement of his account. First we will find out uh, what is the balance total is 14,000. 14,000 minus this total credit total is 14,000. 14,000 minus 4,000. So out of 4,000, out of 10,000, balance amount 10,000, cash received is 9,800. Cash received is 9,800. Balance amount is 200. So we will close Raman account by cash 9,800. By discount. <clears throat> 200 by discount 200 okay okay raman account is closed raman account is tallied raman account is closed this cash next uh, gen legit account we will learn in next more okay so understanding the raman account is the journal entry first journal entry is first journal entry is raman account data to sales account to sales account you see in raman account i used opposite name to sales to post the Raman amount. Raman amount is 5420. I used the opposite name sales to post the Raman amount 5420. Second general entry is cash received from Raman cash account data. Here I am writing to understand this account account data. To Raman account. So amount also I will post for your understanding purpose. Five one five zero, and amount is discount amount is how much? Two seventy I think. Two seven zero, and the common amount is five four two zero. Right. 
So I am preparing which account? Raman account. Here Raman account is showing credit. Raman account is showing credit. So I will go to credit side. Opposite names. I have to post 5420 is combination of two ledger accounts. I will post two amounts. That is cash amount is 5150. Discount is 2000. Okay. In same manner, all the all the transactions were posted. And now I update the update with this journal entry. Okay. Which side I have to write? It is credit side. It starts with the cash buy and discount. So I will write cash account data, discount account data. To Raman account. Cash very clearly it is given 9800. Raman account to due is 10,000. So out of 10,000, we received 9800. Balance is treated as a discount. The students just must write down the general entries on your own. These general entries will help you and later. The posting, the posting. You have to remember in the name in the account related to a particular type, we cannot use that account name. We cannot use that account name. Very simple to understand. You will find. Can you find Raman in this body of this ledger account? No. All the transactions related to Raman were posted with the opposite names of the account opposite names of the okay hope you understand and in detail next problem 29th problem also you will understand you may have a doubt and you put query why i left with 26 and 27 you try your level best you are able to pass general entries no problem if not so you know i will make one more video for those 2627. So, little bit to going complete the syllabus master. Then I left those two problems. The students, bye.